Hello friends! Smaller engines, 1.8 petrol and 1.6 HDI diesel, lack traction at high speeds. Such a Citroen C5 hardly accelerates already in fourth gear. Gasoline engines with a working volume of 2.0 liters and 3.0 liters behave much more confidently but they are more expensive to maintain, especially the latter. A 3 liter unit with an automatic transmission at a calm pace consumes about 12 to 13 liters per 100 kilometers. A common problem with gasoline units is not very durable ignition coils. In addition, oil leaks appear with age, more often from under the valve cover. The 2.0 HBI direct injection engine proved so unsuccessful that it subsequently had to be abandoned. Among diesel engines, the 2 liter proved to be the best. It is simple from a technical point of view, reliable, and easy to repair. The 2.2 HDI performed a little worse. More modern 16 valve turbo diesels, which appeared after restyling, turned out to be very economical, but sensitive to fuel quality. After 200,000 kilometers, replacement of the dual mass flywheel, turbocharger, and injectors is inevitable. In addition, diesel engines have such malfunctions as the failure of the airflow meter, the exhaust gas recirculation system, and other components that are inexpensive to fix. However, the cost of several such repairs in the amount can be significant. In the 1.6 HDI, you should change the oil more often as the liners and turbocharger wear out quickly. Another typical malfunction is the stretching of the timing chain. The prefix FAP in the designation of a diesel engine indicates the presence of a wet particulate filter that requires service. As a rule, its resource does not exceed 180 to 200,000 kilometers. Paired with engines, a 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic AL4 was installed. For a 3-liter gasoline aspirated engine, instead of AL4, a 4-band automatic ZF 4HP20 was offered and after restyling, the VX was combined exclusively with a 6-speed automatic transmission manufactured by Azen AM6. Restyled diesel versions began to be aggregated with 6-speed mechanics and AM6, except for the 133 horsepower 2.2 HDI FAP 2004-2005, which was offered with the ZF4 HP20. The basic version with 1.6 HDI was equipped with only a 5-speed manual transmission. And now is the time to mention what worries many Citroen C5 owners with the manual transmission. We are talking about the inaccurate operation of the gear selection mechanism. Unfortunately, the problem worsens with increasing mileage. Determining which gear is on is becoming increasingly difficult. The mechanism will have to be replaced. The clutch lasts over 200,000 kilometers. Among automatic transmissions, the Japanese Azen and the German ZF enjoy a good reputation. The French AL4 causes the most criticism. It begins to push hard towards 150 to 200,000 kilometers. In the best case, it will be possible to get by with the replacement of solenoids, and in the worst case, the valve body will also have to be replaced. Deeper repairs will be needed after 200 to 250,000 kilometers. Even when four well-fed gentlemen with suitcases sit in the Citroen C5 with the engine running, the car will of course sink at first, but after a while it will return to its normal position. Constant ground clearance, regardless of the load, is provided by the Hydroactive 3 Hydro Pneumatic Suspension, Citroen's own development. Hydro Pneumatic elements play the role of shock absorbers and coil springs. The ground clearance is adjusted by two buttons on the central tunnel. The driver can select one of four levels, normal, low, unpaved, and high. That's not all. In the normal position, after exceeding the speed of 110 km per hour, the front suspension sags by 15 mm and the rear by 11 mm. As soon as the speed drops below 90 km per hour, the ground clearance returns to its normal position. If the road turns out to be filled with potholes, the car will automatically rise by 13 mm front and rear, additional mode on restyled models. The upgraded version with Hydroactive 3 Plus has a sport button between the two mode buttons. If you press it, the car will roll and sway less. But even in normal mode, body vibrations are small. 
In addition, the Hydroactive 3 Plus can enter sport mode on its own, depending on the amount of acceleration or body roll. Technically, the Hydroactive 3 Plus features six spheres, balloons, filled with nitrogen, while the regular version has four spheres. However, in both cases, the Citroen C5 is a comfortable car without sacrificing stability or handling. Notably, the hydro pneumatic suspension and steering use the same supply of LDS hydraulic fluid. However, each system has its own pump. Unfortunately, hydro pneumatic suspension repairs are not cheap. Typical malfunctions include leaks from the spheres, failure of the main BHI pump, and suspension sensors. Sensors can sometimes be revived after cleaning and lubrication. If the suspension is serviced regularly, then it should go easily 200,000 kilometers. The LDS synthetic fluid must then be replaced, although this is not recommended by Citroen. As a result of diffusion, the nitrogen pressure in the spheres decreases, and the suspension becomes less comfortable. This is especially felt on the rear axle. But before replacing the fluid, you should check the condition of the hydraulic lines. They often rust after 10 to 12 years of operation. The front suspension is a McPherson strut while the rear has swing arms, something between a torsion beam and a multi-link design. Rear control arm bearings wear out with age. Water penetrates through aged seals and corrosion occurs. When worn, a knock, crunch, or creak appears. The parking brake also received a non-standard solution. It uses the front wheels. With age, its mechanism often turns sour, which leads to incomplete release of the wheel. In order to avoid problems, the mechanism should be periodically serviced, cleaned, developed, and lubricated. The steering rack may require attention after 170 to 220,000 kilometers. A knock or leak appears. The body of the Citroen C5 is well protected from corrosion. Red spots can sometimes be found on the brake lines. The French car will pleasantly surprise those who like to receive a lot of information and appreciate functionality. On the dashboard, there is a coolant temperature gauge, and in more advanced versions, a voltmeter and an oil temperature indicator. Only the basic version of the X does not have the black panel function for dimming extra lights in the cockpit at night. Double sun visors. This means that the driver does not have to juggle one visor when the sun is low. In good light, the illumination of the climate controls is hard to see. The plastic used in the interior is of very good quality. However, it is sensitive to scratches. The front panel looks very aesthetically pleasing, but the ergonomics have suffered. Operating the dual zone climate control requires some skill, especially the air conditioning shutdown procedure, which cannot be done with a single push of a button. The standard CD changer in complete copies was installed under the passenger seat. Its drawback is careless handling of discs. It just scratches them. In the hatchback, the trunk shelf can be folded behind the back of the sofa. This is a very useful feature when it comes to transporting something large. In other vehicles, drivers do not know what to do with the shelf removed. In station wagons, the glass of the tailgate opens separately. Please note that the glass lock often breaks. When loading into the trunk with the engine off, the rear suspension squats slightly, making loading and unloading easier. Electronics in the Citroen C5 sometimes surprise, but after restyling in 2004, the situation has improved significantly. The BSI Comfort module fails due to corrosion of electrical connections, moisture ingress, or improper repair. If it fails, problems arise with the power windows, central locking, and immobilizer. The Christmas tree on the dashboard lights up, or the hydro pneumatic suspension stops functioning correctly. The block of pre styling versions is considered more reliable and maintainable. After restyling, they began to install a block with a board filled with compound, which complicates the repair. In most cases, the BSI block can be revived by soldering resistors. Another sore point is the steering column switch module. For example, the direction indicators stop turning on. An indispensable attribute of luxury equipment is xenon headlights. Fortunately, there are few problems with them. 
experience shows that the plastic lenses of such headlights become cloudy much more slowly than many competitors. The air conditioning also presents frequent problems. In restyled copies, dampers break. Subsequently, the manufacturer upgraded them, but reinforced dampers could last only two to three years. In the pre-styling version, the dampers do not break, but cut off the splines in the damper drive mechanism. The heater fan may not turn on due to a heater block failure. It is worth noting that worn fan brushes contribute to the rapid death of the resistor. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it. <laughs>